So today, we got another rapper's reaction video, you know what I'm saying? We got uh, rapper's most disturbing last recordings. I don't know what we about to witness this video, so I'm going to just say this stuff is alleged. <laughs> but yeah, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this on Facebook, if it's on Facebook, make sure you hit that follow button. Without further ado, let's see what the man himself, Trapologist, got for us today. One rapper predicted his death with his last recording, and another lost his life on a ring camera recording. These are rappers' most disturbing last recordings. First, we gotta start with a rapper from Chicago named THFTP, because in his last recording, he lost his life in front of his family Man. on February 8th, 2024. THFTP had just picked in up- In front of his family? Come on, man, that's crazy. Hold on, let me try to fix this real quick. Let me try this down. I think y'all can see it pretty good. Uh oh. About to mess it up for y'all. Daughters from school and was walking down the street with a woman who was allegedly his girlfriend. They were on the west side of Chicago until two shooters pulled up and started firing at TP. It's unclear what THFTP did, but they wanted him gone because you can hear how many rounds they let off. TP lost his life in front of his daughters who ran away screaming while their father lost his life. After the shooters. Bro, that's. We got to do better in front of his daughters. It's bad enough that he lost it, but in front of his kids on top of that. <sighs> Over 20 shots to end TP's life, they hopped back in the car and sped off. After THF TP died, some of his ops started posting the video of him where he lost his life. And 051 Jilla made a post Bro, on I ain't gonna lie, if you put that in here, I'm gonna have to skip past that. I, I don't wanna see that. I don't want to see hey, I don't want to hear none of that crying about that video. Because when my video was going around, it was on every op page. But now, let's move on to Jada Young. This video. Man, there's some stuff we don't know about. But either way, that's 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 just a crazy situation. Because some say he predicted his own death in the last snippet that he ever posted. And it's pretty disturbing. Because on July 26th, 2022, Jay posted a snippet. And in the song, he raps. In my sleep, this get creep to my ops coming right down on me. Saying, used to ride my, like to talk down on me. It's none but bad energy surrounding me. I can't play this. I can't play this. I'm about to skip past that. I can't play that. July 27th, 2022. Jay was sitting outside of a house in Bogalusa with his dad, having some drinks when a truck pulled up and three hopped out, ran up on him, and started letting off shots. Man. Jay's dad started firing back while he and Jay tried to get inside the house for cover. But that's when two more shooters came up from behind the house and started Whoa. letting off shots too. By the time it was over, Jay had been hit up at least eight times and was unfortunately pronounced dead at the hospital. Rap fans were shocked when the news broke about Jay's. And I remember when his news dropped. I was like, man, at that time, though, which is still today, it was a lot of rappers, like a lot of uh, famous people um, losing it, just leaving, you know, <laughs> leaving this earth. So this is a crazy time all the The all family around. of the victim, Devorius Scott, known as Jay the Young, and they say that he was standing outside of his home on Superior Avenue when someone opened a fire. I can I don't I don't even know if I can play this. If it's still like in here. The rap artist. Yeah, WDSU News reporter Shay O'Connor spoke to Scott's grandfather and he says he wants justice. But Jada Youngin isn't the only rapper who predicted his death. XXX Tentacion did the same in many recordings. And his last recording before his death is pretty disturbing since he was being stopped by the guy. Shout Your out to skin the ass. isn't the same as everyone else's. That's why Shout Agency out to designed the ass. Feature a personalized and by the guys who took his life that whole day. Because before his death, X had a phone call with Adam-22. And Adam asked X when he planned on dying. And this Why is did he ask him that? Is that like a common question that you ask somebody? Hey, yo, hey, yo, bruh. Hey, when you plan on getting up out of here? Is that something y'all... I need some context on that. That that sounds crazy in itself. When you sound like, I mean, the way this 
the way trap shout out to trapologist, but the way you just said it kind of seems suspect. When you plan on getting up out of here? What? I have to say. When do you plan on dying? What? Mm, probably like 25. Probably like 25, 27. 25, huh? I don't think they'll want me to be alive while my kids are alive. Bro, what is this, man? I ain't trying to get A22 to have to do nothing on my channel on Instagram to talk to his fans. And he spoke more about his death. And what he had to say was pretty disturbing because he talks about how he knew he might have died in a tragic way. All right, let's say worst thing comes to worst, I f die a tragic death or some and I'm not able to see out my dreams. I at least want to know that the kids perceived my message. On the same day after... Man, what, listen. X was tapped into... Some other stuff. Some other stuff, man. It's not y'all like Yahweh, Yahuwah, however you want to say it. <laughs> you know, it it was not that. He was tapped into some um some some other way, some otherworldly, spiritual realm type. So he said he spake to a Baphomet and all of that. So uh, you know. Yeah, he's gone now. I'm not going to talk down on I'm not going to do that anyway. But I'm just letting y'all know. This is what he said personally. So it's not me saying this. You know. That's what he said. In that live, <laughs> X went up losing his life. Later that day, X went to a motorcycle and boat dealership in Deerfield Beach with his uncle. That's when a dude named Dedrick Williams saw X's car and called up some of his partners to pull up to see if X was really there. Around 3.30 p.m., a security camera called Williams, and a man named Allen followed X into the shop. They walked past X while he was checking out some motorcycles and bought two black masks. X and his uncle left the dealership about 30 minutes later. And that's when all four of the guys allegedly blocked X's car in with their SUV. Then, two of the men hopped out and robbed him. One of the men grabbed a Louis V bag with $50,000 in it, while another snatched X's chain. X's uncle ran off during the situation, leaving his nephew alone. That's when one of the robbers ran back to the SUV and shot X six times, ending his life. And what's even more disturbing about the situation is that X predicted his death and was being stalked by the guys who killed him the whole day while shopping for a motorcycle. Now, let's move on to this run rapper from Mrs. But I gotta say something. It's, it's, listen, we shouldn't try to rush at what we believe in rushing our demise because it's coming. One way or the other, it's coming. So it's, it's no need to rush it. It's no need to rush it. Life is beautiful in itself. You know, and uh, unfortunately, People did some stupid stuff by taking that man's. And uh, 50,000, come on, come on, bro. Money ain't nothing. Money is not more valuable than a life. Yes, you need money in this system that we have. But it ain't more valuable than us. With, without us, it's no money. So... <laughs> who had a disturbing recording where he nearly filmed himself getting hit up on Facebook Live because the rapper is on live letting everyone know that he's one of the hardest rappers from Mississippi. I know I'm, I'm like, I swear to God, I'm the I can't play that, bro. I can't play it. I can't play it. I can't play audio with, with, with that in the background. Because a rapper from Florida, known as Wavy Navy Pooh, got hit up while driving with his family. Wavy came up in Liberty City, a neighborhood in Miami where he was surrounded by violence and criminal activity. Wavy said in an interview, it feels like every week someone he knows got killed. Once he started doing well with his music, he started dealing with hatred and jealousy. In May 2020, Wavy was chilling with some of his partners until some of his ops pulled up and shot at the group of guys. Wavy was hit in the leg, but he survived and ended up firing back in self-defense. The police used this situation to link Wavy to a bunch of shootings in the Miami-Dade area in Man. the previous year. And it was not until January 14th, 2022, that Wavy would experience a disturbing situation that would change his life forever. Wavy was riding around Miami in his black Toyota Camry with a woman and two kids. The four came to a stop at a red light when a gray car pulled up next to them and let off 80 shots into Eight. the car, killing Wavy. 80? 80? Bro, what? What were they using? What were they using? 80 shots? I mean, Young Dolph had 100. That man had 80. Bro, they really wanted him gone. 
to, to, to want somebody to go that bad. I don't know what he did, so I'm not going to speak on that aspect, but to want somebody to, go, to put 80 in his car, man, you wanted him out of here. I mean, and the two kids came out uninjured, but traumatized by what they just witnessed. You can even hear the gunshots on a dash cam recording of a nearby officer, and it's pretty disturbing. And this next rapper situation is even more disturbing. Yeah, Since he went on Instagram Live and basically asked for his ops to come take him out. A flu. Rapper named Rolly Bands dissed his op on IG and ended up getting killed five minutes later on July 22nd, five 2022. Minutes later. Rolly hopped on IG and dared the ops to come try him if they want smoke. He made a post saying, a lot of these know where I live at for real. I sleep in peace. If a won't smoke, I'm at my crib in five minutes. Literally five minutes later, Rolly went walking his dog outside of... Let me show you Shout how I'm out to the ads. But five I'm minutes later, AI it's less than creative at work. ...out of his apartment when a shooter pulled up on him and started letting off shots. He tried to run off, but the shooter hopped out of the car and chased him down. 13 rounds went off, and Rolly got hit in the body and back of his head. He was rushed to the hospital, but there was nothing they could do for him, and he was tragically pronounced dead that day. Just five minutes after Rolly posted that if someone wanted smoke, they could come to his home. When they arrived, authorities say they found Benz, who was in his 20s, Shot dead in the parking lot of the IQ apartment on Bruce B. Downs Boulevard. Now, in his 20s, young man, so much, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm not saying that he rushed to his death, but don't even invite it, you know, don't even invite it. I'm not saying it's his fault, but don't even invite it, man. Speak life over, over yourself. Move on to King Von, because moments before he died, he had one last recording on IG Live. Everyone said the live seemed off since King Von was acting weird. And not saying much on live, as he usually does on live. Because Von was just sitting in the club, staring at the camera on live. I can't. No, 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 no. Can't play that. R.I.P. Uzi, even though Uzi isn't dead. Not long after getting off live and leaving the club, King Vine spotted Quando Rondo just chilling and decided to run up on him. Vine started swinging on sight. It sparked a crazy fight, and both sides started letting off shots. And Quando Rondo's homie, Lil Tim, let off one shot that would end up taking Vine's life. After Vine's death, his man... Even, you know, I heard different stories about that, too. They said the security guard possibly, allegedly, could have done that. Um, so we don't know, but allegedly it was a little town as far as we know. 100K track went on an interview with DJ Academics and spoke about the situation. The and he says Vine wasn't in his right state of mind that night. Security didn't know what was going on. His guys didn't know what was going on. He literally off instinct and just just not in the right state of mind just jumped out. And do y'all believe that? Do y'all believe he went in his right state of mind? He just hopped out and like he just... It sounded like some spiritual possession. Do y'all believe he just didn't know what he was doing? He just, just went up and did it. I don't know. The video that we seen, he hopped out. But it seemed like he had purpose when he hopped out. I'm not going to say it was just straight instinct. It seemed like he had purpose. You know, it seemed like he knew well aware what he was about to do. But, hey, he was there. He was, I don't know, but everybody, even, even though he was there, he got his own opinion, like everybody. But do y'all believe that? Do y'all believe he just hopped out on instinct and he didn't even know, he wasn't even thinking about what he was doing, he just did it? Went to the situation. Like I said, he didn't even know where so-and-so was. Like, that's how unprepared the situation was. And him saying that is what makes his last IG live. Maybe I'm um, misinterpreting the context. I don't know more disturbing but now let's move on to probably one of the most disturbing situations ever caught on live indian red boy is a rapper and gang member from california associated with the inglewood bloods who's known for beefing with the rolling 60 crips because a member of the inglewood bloods even defaced nipsey hustle's mural and tagged his name over his name to let them know who did it and the nipsey's people didn't take this too well so they made a video telling the bloods if they don't punish the guy named capone who did that they're going to take things into their own hands you got an issue coming your own homies gonna beat the brakes off of you you feel me because you got homies that love them now and you gonna come over and put this baby Capone shit. All right, I bet you gonna change your name today. I bet you that. Y'all need to be, y'all need to beat that. 
right now before the homies mine up and, 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 and come do some dumb yard. Not long after that video, Indian Red Boy got into the situation, defended Capone, and went on to diss the Rolling 60s. But not long after all of this, Indian Red Boy was chilling in his car, laughing with Capone on Instagram Live. But out of nowhere, you could hear shots going off in the background. Bro, I don't, I hope he don't show that in I, I don't think he gonna show that. <laughs> like, you ain't got that to know you right now. What would you do, fool? Yeah, about that, fool. Red Boy is then seen gasping for air. So Capone asked him for the location he was at. But Red Boy could barely make out the words, Hawthorne before passing away. Since the defacing of Nipsey's mural brought a lot of attention to the two of them, many people assume that this incident was their way of getting payback. But some say that's not true, since you have other people saying that he was shot over since he had switched on his gang. In fact, G's last recording is very disturbing as well. Fat G's is a rapper from Philly who lost his life in front of his house with the whole thing being caught on his doorbell camera. Fat was even cool with Meek Mill, and he was starting to get a buzz in the city. He ended up clicking up with a gang from his side of town called Zoo Gang. The gang beef was getting pretty crazy because one day, some of Fat's ops pulled up to his mom's crib and shot it up. He even spoke about the situation in an interview. My little brother got shot, like, my little brother got shot, bro. I was shit, like, on Toro Uzi, I just dropped back to the basics. I was shaking, bro, like, I was confident with money, like, on music. But my little, I drop a album, bro, and two days later, nigga, shoot my house up. But on March 17th, 2024, things would get crazy, because Fat was chill. Shout out to the ass. Were you recently injured in a car accident? was chilling outside his mom's house until he noticed someone odd on his ring camera. So he went up to talk and asked who they were, since he didn't want another shooting to go down at his crib. Turn the f out! What's wrong with you? Ain't I knocked on this door and I asked you, who you looking for? This f my whole head. He just told me to go ahead. Fat then tells someone on the phone that he's about to flame the dude's car, since he didn't know who it was. Not long after, Fat kept talking to the dude in the car. The driver eventually upped his gun on Fat and let off several shots, ending his life. In front of my door, I'm about to flame this. Like, I'm about to flame this car right now. I don't know what's up with cuz. Bro, are you listening to what I'm saying, bro? Somebody hit my crib up. Bro, you sitting in front of my crib, bro. Get his crib up. Yo. What is wrong with him? The video is very disturbing. And unfortunately, Fat lost his life this way. But in this next clip, we have this one local rapper who was chilling in the car with his family while on live until some of his ops snatched him out of the car and shot him several times. Because Man. at first, you can see the man just vibing to the music. Bro, I can't play that. I can't play it. But I see he got snatched. I do see he got snatched. For yourself in the streets. But you also have to do the same in jail. And unfortunately, rapper Money Sign Sway lost his life for moving wrong in prison. And another rapper almost got poked to death while behind bars. So click this video to see rappers. Bro, that's crazy. This video was crazy, man. If y'all want to see more of these videos, let me know. It ain't got to necessarily be last recording type videos. You know what I'm saying? It could just be interviews. It can be music. Um, let me know how y'all feel about this, man. This is a crazy video to react to, though.